Hi, I'm Mayi, and you're watching Interviews from Home right here on TSMN Virtual. Today, I'm speaking with the founder of the Real Girls Film Festival, Sophie Zawadzki. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Mayi. First of all, I would like to say a huge congratulations to you, Sophie, on your film festival. It looked like a great success, even though it had to go virtual. Thank you. Sophie, was there a specific time or event that allowed you to recognize your passion for filmmaking? When I was nine, my babysitter was studying film and I really wanted to create my own films. So at recess, I would make up films and teach my friends the blockings and all the scripts and stuff like that. And then after school, we would go back to my house and my babysitter would film it. And so we made our own little films. So once you recognize your passion for filmmaking, could you tell us a little bit about what the Real Girls Film Fest is and who or what inspired you to start it? The Real Girls Film Festival is one of the first all-girls international film festivals devoted to encouraging young aspiring filmmakers to create films. I noticed attending summer camps for film that I was almost always one of two girls in the program and I wondered why this was, um, why there was such a great lack of female filmmakers. Later on, when attending film festivals, I noticed that the judging panels were almost all um, male judges, and I wondered how this would change, like how the outcome of the festival would change with a more diverse panel. And so then I created Real Girls Film Festival because I really wanted a space to meet um, like-minded female filmmakers and have those inspiring female role models. And so Real Girls is that space. Yeah, thank you, Sophie. So what kind of stories do you help to tell through not only your own films, but also in the films that are featured in the Real Girls Film Festival? The stories that I want my films and films featured in the film festival to tell are ones that have stories that aren't often heard or seen. I think that film is a very powerful tool, one that can create change throughout the world. I think that with this tool, it is important that we make sure that we are telling the stories and giving access to this tool with people who don't usually have access to these tools or whose voices aren't usually heard. I want the film I create and the films that are featured in the film festival to be different than what we are used to seeing, either by challenging social norms or simply by just telling an original and creative story. Through your film festival, what kind of change do you hope to foster in the film industry? I hope that the festival encourages inspiring female filmmakers to continue to make films. I hope that it inspires other young girls to make films and to tell their stories. By inspiring the change in the next generation, my hopes are that they feel like they have community within the film festival and within the film industry and that they continue to make films, possibly making a career out of it, overall making the film industry a more diverse place. So if there was one thing that you think would make the film industry better, what would it be? Diversity. I think the film industry greatly lacks diversity, and although it is beginning to change, it still has a long way to go. So what advice would you give to young girls who might be interested in film? I would say to just make films and keep making films. Don't be afraid to share your stories. You're never too young to do that. And finally, Sophie, what can people do to support the Real Girls Film Festival? To help support Real Girls Film Festival, you can visit www.realgirlsfilmfestival.com and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Real Girls Film Fest or our YouTube channel, Real Girls Film Festival. And be sure to spread the word. Thank you very much, Sophie. Great chatting with you, Mayi. Today I've been speaking with the founder of the Real Girls Film Festival, Sophie Zawatsky. Thank you for watching Interviews from Home right here on TSMN Virtual.